Hello, I'm Jane Rickard, I'm from the Surrey area of Nafas, I'm a national teacher and an area judge. Welcome to my kitchen. If there was room for all of you to come in here it would be just lovely and I could give you all a nice cup of coffee and I might even have made a cake for you. But as things are now you're going to have to look at me through this screen, I've never done a video before so goodness knows what will happen but I shall do my best to be clear and sensible with you. Right, so today I'm going to show you a technique using washi paper, which is this beautiful paper. It's a, um, it's a lacy, semi-transparent paper made from tree bark fibres. It's Japanese, it's called washi paper. Wa is Japanese for Japanese, and she is Japanese for paper. So Japanese paper, so even I can remember that a bit. This particular type of paper is called rakusui, I'm sure if there's any Japanese out there, they'll think my pronunciation is dreadful. But rakasui means drop of water. And they get the effect of the holes in this paper by spraying it with drops of water. So that's how you get the holes and that's why it's washi paper, except we don't need to say the paper and it's rakasui. So um, I remember years ago, you could buy this paper from Oasis as one of the decorative wraps that you just used to wrap tie bunches in. But all of a sudden it's become popular since we're allowed to use papers um, as plant material in our exhibits. And um, all of a sudden it shot up in price. So you can get it, but the beauty of the technique I'm going to show you is you can use any type of quite fine uh, papers. The, the great big thick handmade papers aren't so good but if it's it's fine stuff you can get I think it's got size in it or something little threads which are the natural fibres in it as long as it's something fine then you can you can use it for that. Now all you need to do this is a polystyrene ring any size you like any size you want to make it and a kebab stick I'll put it up again for an ordinary pointed one end plain at the other wooden kebab stick or if you want to, you can use a crochet book. This is size four. That's, it's just to make the holes so that you can press the paper in. Now, a long time ago, I came across um, when my children were much younger and had to do crafty things, which isn't my thing at all, um, a technique to fill a polystyrene ring with squares, cut out pieces of Christmas type fabric. And you just push them in using exactly the same technique. So you can, um, you can make this as a nice Christmas hanging if you want to. And it doesn't matter if it's for home because it's plant material. And so you can look at it as craft rather than flower arranging. But craft has crept a long way into our designs, hasn't it now? So we need to be good at, we need to be good at that as well. Anyway, this is what we're going to make. It's, um, it's a lovely textural collar. You can use it as a collar. Or you can use it as ooh, anything you like. You can use it for lots of things. This is what we're going to make today. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very, very easy. I wouldn't recommend it. It's something you can just sit in front of the telly and do. I think you need to sit at a table to do it. And it's probably took me about an hour and a half to two hours to do one of these to actually put the pieces in. Now, this, this washi paper, it comes in... It also comes in this nice green colour and I've seen it in a pale sort of mauvey lavender colour which is lovely too. I'm sure there's other colours, I just haven't come across them. So you can use this paper um, for all sorts of things. You can, um, now it's popular to use insulating board, in this case it's, it's, um, it's an artist canvas, but you can just cover a piece so you can use it that way or you can use it that way and then you can put your test tubes across it and put some plant material in and have it as a wall hanging. So you can use it that way as well. So that's another way of using washi paper. But today we're going to show you how to make this. Well, all it is, is a I've used a 30 centimetres flat-backed polystyrene ring. Now I know polystyrene isn't very eco-friendly and all that sort of thing, but you can reuse this and when you've finished with it, or it's got too many holes in, you don't want to put something different in it. All you have to do is break it up and use it as a base for your pots in the garden before, so you don't have to fill a whole pot full of compost to put your plants in. So it just sort of gives it some 
some, uh, some filling up in the bottom of the pot, so you can use it for that. So actually, as long as you don't chuck it into landfill, we're okay with it. We're okay with it. So all you have to do with this is you get a piece of washi paper. Now don't cut it, just rip it. It's wonderful. You just rip it up so you get rough pieces that sort of size. It doesn't have to be square, doesn't have to be any shape, but it's easier if it's sort of. So you can, because what we're going to do is we're going to put our stick in the middle of it, avoiding the holes, obviously. Put your stick in the middle. Oh. And you're going to sort of pull the plant material, the paper, washi paper around it. So you've got a thing that looks like that. So you, that piece is going to be pushed into the polystyrene ring. So I've got, um, I've got a gap on here somewhere that I need to fill up to finish this off. So when you, when you pierce a hole in the polystyrene, it's quite hard to see it. So I would recommend that you put your piece on the stick and using the other end, which is sharp, make a puncture mark into the polystyrene, upend this, and then in your puncture mark or hole, you just push this and you can feel it going in. And then you fluff it up around it. That's the piece I've just put in. And you sort of pack the whole thing out with it. Then you just go on and on and on, ripping pieces off, which is a lovely thing to do. Do that again on the end. You can have odd, odd bits sticking up. It doesn't have to be equal and lovely. And you just put another piece in. You find a gap. Pierce it with the sharp end of your kebab stick. Upend it and then just push that in. And you can feel it go in. Now, I'm, I'm not saying it's secure that you can chuck it around the room, but it, it's fairly sturdy as long as you handle it gently. But it's easy enough to put some more pieces in. And that is the technique of doing it. So it's absolutely simple. And the lovely thing is what we can now do with it to use it in a design. So I've got some alternatives for you here. On a cake plate. You could put it on the edge of a cake plate. So straight away, it's raised off the ground so you can see it and you've got a centre that you can do some lovely things with. So you can use it at Christmas. You could put a candle in it. And then you could just fill it up with baubles. <laughs> just fill it up with baubles all the way around. And that's really, that's really pretty. So that's one way of using it. And you can, you can spray these different colours. You could put a little, for Christmas, you could put a little bit of sparkle in it. You could put some diamante pins in it just to bling it up a little bit. So that's one thing to do with it. I've got a green version here. If I put it at the back, then you can see it better. Which is just a collar around um, a glass, cylindrical, uh, shallow dish. So that you've got, you just put your collar on it. And in it, I've just put some uh, wire netting. We're not supposed to call it chicken wire. It's just wire netting. And obviously water in the bottom of the bowl. And then filled it up with some beautiful, beautiful, my absolute favourite tulips, which are green and white. So that's that. So that's another lovely way to use it. And then for my piece de resistance, you can have an urn like this. It's just an ordinary, it's quite a heavy urn, so it's it's quite good. I put a plastic dish, plastic dish in the bottom of it because I don't want to fill it up with um, right down to the bottom. So I've got a plastic dish in it so I can put my collar around it. I've made some spheres here, just covering them with ivy leaves, just... They're oasis spheres, um, foam spheres, spheres, and I've just covered them with ivy leaves and used the black pins. So I'm going to put these in here. There are because they're the smooth leaves. It's a nice contrast with the with the uh, fluffy texture, fluffy busy texture of the collar. So you can just put these in here. I love the simplicity of this sort of thing. And it's, it's very, very easy to do. And then for 
against the resistance, just to make it a bit more interesting, you can just put a piece of contorted hazel you can put down across it. But the great thing about this, about all of these, is that they're very easy to do. Simple, you don't need lots of different plant materials. Apart from the tulips, I wanted to show you something that all the ingredients that I've used have just come from what I've had upstairs and where I keep all my stuff and what's in the garden. And and I think at the moment it's, it's a good thing to do. The tulips were just an extra special treat because why shouldn't we at the moment? That's my technique. That's my short, sharp little tutorial that I've just given you. So I hope that you all can get some inspiration from that. And um, keep safe, keep safe. Be very sensible. It's not worth it, we're nearly there. Roll on all those jabs and then we'll all be fine and we can all get back together in our flower clubs. Thank you very much indeed.